Hello folks and welcome to Apps Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you the application Air Video for iOS devices. Now this application allows you to stream video from your PC to your iPad or iPhone. Now this can be a Mac or a PC. So first of all you need to install the Air Video software to your iPad or iPhone. It's $1.99 from the App Store and definitely worth it. Once you've downloaded the Air Video app for your iOS device, you then need to download the server software for your Mac or PC. Now this is a free application and you can get it from airvideoapp.com. So if you just go to that website, you'll see down at the bottom, you can click on um, the actual download button and start downloading the server software. So once you've got the Air Video server software downloaded and installed and you launch it for the first time, you'll notice it actually appears in your menu bar at the top. And this is where you can actually turn it on and off if you choose to. You can also have the application running from start up if you choose or you can just launch it when you need it, it's up to you. But obviously you need the Air Video Server software running at all times when you wish to stream video to your iOS device. So let's go into preferences and have a look at some of the settings. So as you can see here you can actually choose if to have the server running or turned off. And what you need to do first off is actually add which folders you wish to share on your computer with the Air Video software on your iOS device. So let's go to add a folder. And basically can, you can choose any, any amount of folders you wish. Um, for example, I could add my movie folder. So I'll select that, movie folder. Open it and that's now being selected. So it's telling Air Video Server where my films are kept in my movie folder. I also can choose my desktop folder, my downloads folder even, that would be quite handy. And if, if you want to just select all the folders on your uh, Mac, you can actually just use you use a folder and just select that and that'll be basically all your folders on your computer. I'm going to add my desktop folder just for quick access, makes it easy to find when I'm on the Air Video software on my iOS device. Also what you can do is add an external drive, so if you've got an external drive plugged in by USB you can add that. Or even a drive on your network you can actually add, so for example I've got my time machine, capsule here, and I can actually add that to the Air Video server. Next up we've got a few different settings we can choose, we can have require password to access the server so anyone trying to access it from their iPhone or iPad will need to um, put the password in that can be quite useful we can choose it to start it login the application the server application again quite handy and there's a few other settings we can change here but I'm not going to go into great detail also what you can do is actually access the server from the internet so if you are away from home you could then access your server and stream video from wherever you are or even have a 3G on your perhaps your iPhone. Um, this is something I've not actually tried, so I can't say if this is any good or not. As you can see, it's just in beta, so the developer is still obviously um, improving this part of the service, but definitely something worth having a look at if you're interested. So now we've got the Air Video server software set up on the Mac. I now can actually launch Air Video on the iPad or iPhone. And now I need to select my actual computer. So let's go up to the plus sign and add it. As you can see here, it's appeared straight away on my uh, local network, so I can select that. And now that's my um, computer now selected and set up, so now I can access my computer from my iPad and access all my video files. So as you can see here, we've got the actual all the folders that I added earlier on the Air Video server software. I've got my movies folder, my desktop, etc. So let's go onto my desktop. As you can see here in the desktop folder I've got a temporary folder and I've also got one episode of Raising Hope which is a TV show which is quite funny, definitely recommend checking that out. So we can basically select the TV show or move it or whatever it may be and now we've got the option of playing it. Now if it's a compatible video file with the iPad it will play straight away, you can just basically tap on it and it'll start playing. But if it's a video file what isn't supported by Apple and it doesn't basically play on the iPad, you need to convert it. Well don't worry because you can actually convert it live. And what I mean by this is I'll, I'll hit play with live conversion and the actual server software on the Mac will start converting the video file then start streaming it straight away to the actual iPad. So as you can see there, there were hardly any lag, it just pretty much started within a few seconds. And this is being converted on the Mac and then being streamed to the iPad instantly. So it's a really clever way of doing it, so you don't have to wait for it to be converted or anything like that. Normally if you were loading your iPad with uh, movies and video files, you would need to make sure it were compatible video files. But using this Air Video software, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
hit their video application, we'll do the converting for you and it'll be all instant. So as you can see the application, it plays the video perfect. Obviously this depends on how good your Wi-Fi connection is, but assuming you've got like quite a modern router, then it shouldn't be a major problem, you should get no stutter. It'll be just like watching the video file directly from your iPad and not from streaming. So along the bottom we've got quite a few controls, we can actually minimise and obviously maximise the video. We can obviously alter the volume, like so. We can obviously skip along. And obviously when you're live converting it does take a few seconds for it to start up again, but not it's not too bad. We can obviously pause and we can obviously skip if we wish. And we've got a few more controls at the bottom, such as we can zoom in and stuff, if we choose to. So that's the AirVideo software, and I find it just to be a really useful app. I use it all the time, basically streaming any movies or TV shows directly to my iPad. Saves me needing to transfer them onto the device, which can take a little while. It saves me needing to convert any video files so that you play. AirVideo does all that, and it's just a great application, and I recommend it to everyone who's got an iPad. Or even an iPhone and iPod Touch, I definitely recommend it. For £2, it's definitely value for money. So thanks for watching this video everyone. If you did like it, then please like. And also subscribe to my video for more content like this. Also, if you wish, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you later.